One of the things I love most about living in Santa Clarita is the wide range of arts and entertainment our city offers. From the Cowboy Festival and Thursdays at Newhall, to concerts in the park and light up Maine, there is plenty of fun to be had right here in our hometown. The city continues to deliver on the vision of the Arts Master Plan adopted last year. The Master Plan is a long-term roadmap for cultural development throughout the community. This plan addresses several areas of specific interest. Public art, arts funding, the New Hall Arts District, arts facilities, and the creative economy. We take great pride in our local art scene. Santa Clarita boasts nine different art galleries that folks can visit for free, each offering rotating exhibits and themes in different mediums throughout the year. The newest addition to our collection of art galleries opened earlier this year in the bustling premier art district in Old Town New Hall. The lobby of The Main will host exhibits throughout the year while the theater will continue to be a popular venue for shows and performances. The Main is currently home to a variety of events that contribute to the culture of the Santa Clarita Valley. The city's arts team puts on a number of panel discussions, lectures that bring local artists together and help our residents develop their passion for the arts. Last fall, the city launched SantaClaritaArts.com the online home of everything going on in the Santa Clarita arts community. The new site provides a comprehensive arts listing and database, calendar of events, beautiful photos, and increases the exposure to the arts and culture in our city. To encourage art throughout our city, the Community Services and Arts Grants Program awarded grants this year to assist community-based nonprofit organizations in providing community services and art activities, programs, and events for Santa Clarita residents. The 24th Annual Cowboy Festival, rooted in our rich Western heritage, drew thousands of attendees. Live music, authentic cowboy activities, vendors selling handcrafted goods, and some of the best cowboy cobbler you'll find west of the Mississippi took over Hart Park and gave everyone a taste of Santa Clarita's Wild West days. Concerts in the park once again made the summer fly by with a variety of bands taken to the stage in Central Park every Saturday night. People camped out on the lawn or danced in front of the stage while music from amazing tribute bands played. They played the hits from such iconic groups as Queen, Van Halen, Santana, the Beatles, and even our very own Savannah Burroughs. She was the winner of the local country showdown. Santa Clarita also hosted its 13th Amgem Tour of California Stage, the most in the event's history. The Amgem Tour of California is a week-long cycling road race. And don't forget about the Santa Clarita Marathon coming up in a few weeks. One of the other things Santa Clarita is known for is being home to filming locations for some of the most popular and award-winning films and television shows like my personal favorite, Westworld. Already this year, we've seen a lot of filming in Santa Clarita, including locally-based television shows like NCIS, Ballers, Shooter, and Stitchers, as well as major motion pictures like the upcoming Oprah Winfrey movie, a Wrinkle in Time, the 1517 to Paris, and Denzel Washington's Roman Israel, Esquire. Not only is it cool to see places you recognize on every big and little screen every so often, it is also important to the local economy in our city. Through the first seven months of the year, the Santa Clarita Film Office recorded 319 film permits. This translates to a total of 764 film days this doesn't even take into account filming on certified sound stages in Santa Clarita. It's been a fantastic year for arts, culture, and entertainment in our city. We look forward to welcoming even more opportunities for creativity and expression as Santa Clarita continues to be painted as a city of the arts.